Hello, beautiful viewers out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty, and I'm here to do a product review for you today here on the brand uh, Nubian Heritage. And I have been hearing a lot about this brand for some time now, so I was actually persuaded in trying it. Okay, and I bought both my products here off of Amazon.com online. And I have the Nubian Heritage Black Soap here. And I believe I paid about $4.50 for this. I know it was under $5. Can't remember exactly how much, but very economical. Didn't cost much. Um, yeah, okay, so there's the Nubian Heritage Black Soap. And I also got here from, <laughs> from Amazon the Nubian Heritage Hair Conditioner. And my Doberman just laid, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, now, on to the review here, okay? Okay, this is hilarious. Okay, I, I laid a towel out just because the soap, this soap, I just pulled it out of my bathroom and um, I laid a towel out just to be uh, a little bit cleaner here and the Doberman thought it was for him. Okay, any, anyhow, excuse that. Okay, so I got the Nubian Heritage um, Black Soap here. Heard a lot about it, been very excited about using it. So, excuse the little soap dish here. It's kind of a little, little, yeah, it looks a little yucky. It's not yucky, but it looks it. I have been using this for over a month now, and I'm really loving this soap. I am very pleasantly surprised. Like I said, it's very economical. It's under $5. It's a great deal. I wasn't out a lot of money to try this. I'm glad I purchased it. It really works well on my face, and um, I like to use my 100% uh, pure uh, facial scrub brush. I love to use that with this soap. I like to get the brush real nice and wet and um, just lather up the soap there. And as you can see, the soap's already kind of well used because like I said before I did this review, I wanted to, um, you know, make sure I've used enough of the product to give you a, a fair and a noteworthy review. Highly recommend it for the facial skin. It works great. I have had um, no breakouts. My skin has not been dried out anyway. The balance in my skin has been perfect. My skin has looked great using this product. Very pleased, very pleased as a facial soap. Very pleased, very economical. Glad I tried it. I will repurchase this again. It foams up, it lathers very well. It has very um, good ingredients. There's no um, animal testing with this product, which is great. Uh, it's cruelty free. And that's always a plus and bonus in my book because I strive to go for those products when at all possible. And it just lathers up really well. I like to use my 100% pure brand uh, facial brush. It has soft bristles. It's very gentle for my face. I like to get that all wet, slather this soap up. Um, it gets kind of messy, kind of goes out everywhere. But if you leave it, in the, leave it in the soap dish and you do uh, rinse out your soap dish and dry your soap dish regularly, you won't get too much buildup of the product. You know, it does come off black and it looks kind of yucky, you know, and it sticks to, um, kind of sticks to the sink a little bit. It sticks to the soap dish. But anyhow, very well worth it. I really can't tell you any more than rants and raves about this product. I'm really enjoying it. It's a great uh, facial soap, non-drying. And from time to time, um, when my monthly visitor pays me a visit, from time to time, I will get those occasional breakouts along the chin line. Since I've been using this soap, I have not had um, any uh, menstrual acne that's related to menstruation in any way, okay? So I highly recommend it. I really, really do. I really like it. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Glad I bought it. Okay, now moving on here to the other Nubian Heritage product. Uh, bear with me. You have a uh, Doberman Pinscher sleeping right here with his bum right in the uh, camera range. Okay, Any <laughs> anyhow... Moving on. Okay, the Nubian Heritage um, Hair Conditioner. I heard a lot of rants and raves about this product as well. Uh, it's a Nubian Heritage Repair and Extend Conditioner. Repair damaged hair, extend uh, life of perm, extend color. And um, yeah, it comes in 12 fluid ounce uh, flip top squeeze bottle here. Okay. And I've used most all of the conditioner. As you can see, I'm about down to right here. It's well used. It's been stored in my shower. It's kind of yucky looking. Um, what I like to do is um, after I shampoo my hair, 
squeeze all the moisture out of my hair very gently uh, squeeze it out uh, and then I like to uh, towel dry it now I don't rub do not rub the towel against the cortex or against the cuticle of the hair I gently squeeze the hair with the towel removing the rest of the moisture then I apply my hair conditioner and I do use a very hefty amount of hair conditioner just because my hair just the way it is it just requires a extremely large amount of hair conditioner okay so I do use a large amount and then I put my um, plastic disposable shower cap on and I let this soak into my hair and just walk around the house and I clean my house clean my bathroom up just spend about 20-25 minutes cleaning house, picking up, doing laundry, etc., etc. Why this saturates into my hair. I do find it to be a very good hair conditioner. Now, I would not go as far as to saying this hair conditioner is great. I would not say it's fabulous. I would not, never, never, never lie to you and say it's the best hair conditioner I've ever used because it is not. But it does offer a good amount of moisturization. And it is, um, it's not a great hair conditioner. I would consider it scale to scale level to level I would say it is a good hair conditioner now as you know I'm always on my videos and I'll let you know the straight-up truth my hair is abused like most ladies hair is I have uh, been swimming too much chlorine damaged it is highlighted it is lightened it is darkened my hair has yeah it's been straightened it has been through a lot I have um, very long very thick dry hair it's naturally dry it just is and it is damaged and it is damaged by me yours truly so I do have to invest quite a hefty amount in hair conditioners just to keep my hair um, at the level where I can get a comb through it where I can have the slip where the create that slip where the comb slides through it etc etc I do find it to be a very good conditioner I will probably uh, purchase it again I do recommend giving it a try. If you have uh, damaged dry hair, such as mine, that's overprocessed, overworked, chemical, yada, 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 damaged, I do recommend trying this. I bought this from Amazon, and I believe I paid $13 or $14 for it. Now, I have heard that you can purchase this product in the store for around $9, $10. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, because personally, I've never really seen it in the store. I'm sure places like CVS, Walgreens, possibly Walmart would carry it. I don't know. I really haven't seen it. But I did buy it from Amazon, pay $13 or $14. I think I paid a little too much for it. But I did want to try it. I was very desperate to try this product. Glad I purchased it. Glad I did. But now, I will tell you, do not apply the product too closely to the scalp. It will give you greasy scalp. It just will. It will give you the built-up greasy after conditioner scalp no matter how much you rinse it you'll just kind of have that so what I did after the first two times of using this I kind of learned to be very careful and not get it too close to the scalp which no conditioner you're really not supposed to butt your conditioner right up to the scalp it does clog up follicles and it can cause hair fallout and hair loss so um, if you didn't know that you do now just try to apply it from possibly your um, below like your earlobes below your earlobes down to extend to the ends of your hair. That's normally where I apply my conditioner anyhow, from the earlobes down to the ends, because I do have long hair. But anyways, you will get good moisturization. It will give you good slip. You'll be able to get a comb through your hair. I hope it works for you. Check it out. Got it in Amazon. And um, yeah, I'm sure they do carry it in the store, and you could probably get it cheaper than I've got it. Just kind of search around and check it out and you know, look at the prices. So I do recommend the uh, Nubian Heritage Repair and Extend Conditioner, and I do recommend the Nubian Heritage Black Soap. So anyways, I um, hope you, all my viewers, uh, beautiful, gorgeous people, and I hope the Doberman Pinscher here enjoyed the video. Okay now, take care, bye.